one of my first exposures to uh, reenactors was I was walking along the streets during the parade in Guyerre, and this grandfather had his grandson holding his hand. And the grandfather stopped me and is telling the grandson that without the Nisei soldiers, instead of the grandson speaking French, he would be speaking German. It's really surprising to me also is seeing the white uh, Caucasians in the uh, 442nd uniform. They don't differentiate. Whoever's wearing the uniform, it's really irrelevant because it's what the 442 and 100 did to liberate those communities in Italy and France that, that really means the most. When they have a reenactment, they dress in period uniforms. Uh, they have a lot of equipment that's the real deal. They have the Willys Jeeps, they've got the half tracks, the deuce and a half, tanks. I mean, they've got the whole deal. We have people show up. These people uh, were probably children when the Nisei soldiers fought in their area and they will come to us and they will shake our hands, they will hug us, and they will thank us uh, for liberating their city. It's really humbling because it's not the tour group that liberated the city, it was our Nisei parents and relatives that did. But we get the message, that they, they wanna thank us because the, the veterans are passing away. So they want to keep this legacy alive. And, and that's why it's so important to have these uh, reenactors because it's and part of living history is to meet the relatives and family uh, members of these Nisei soldiers that were there. <laughs>